You know, we love our pets, and for many of us, there's nothing we wouldn't do for them. A love for her village of pets motivated a Washington State native to come up with a cool idea to protect her pets. And now it's on store shelves. What's your cool idea? Our guest this morning is an expert at helping everyday people like you and me to craft their idea and turn that idea into a real product. Meet George Davison, founder and CEO of Davison. Welcome back. Thank you. I Thanks love for when you me. come back because we have so much fun together. <laughs> now I gotta tell you, you know, we all say it, you know, gosh, I wish I would have thought of that, or sure. you know, I thought about it and somebody, you know, took my idea. George, what's the best way to get that idea here into reality? Well, first thing, believe in yourself. If you've stumbled on an idea and you think it's it's your time to try and chase that best thing is just to build up that anticipation inside of yourself and then reach out to find someone like myself. I've been doing this for a lot of years and uh, we have quite a few different people that uh, know all the different areas that you have to be involved with to pull mm -hmm. it off. To pull it off. And so. you do pull it off and you know what a lot of people say, yeah, yeah, sure, but you know you've got something that's great. It's a webisode series called Dare to Invent. Tell me about it because it really does show right. the beginning to the end. Love it. It's, uh, it's a journey all about like when someone like yourself has an idea, they come to us and you're going to see a story today about uh, Sharon and she has an idea for her pets and uh, we make this journey come to life and you get to see it from A to Z all the way through the whole story. I want to see it. All right. Let's take a look. All right. Meet Sharon Jones. She's from Washington. She's a pet lover and a bit of an outdoors nut who goes camping every weekend. Her biggest problem is finding a spot in her tent for all of her pets. I mean, imagine being crammed in a tent with more than 10 of your furry friends. You wouldn't be able to tell who's who. We have Jack and Jill, Cy and Pies, so Cy Pies, <laughs> Pete, Sylvester McGillicuddy, Jacob E, Blue, Miss, Sammy, and I'm missing somebody. I know I'm missing somebody. Oops. See what I mean? Someone's first reaction to hearing Sharon's problem might be, well, why don't you just leave your pets at home? But they really wouldn't be a pet lover, would they? Portable dog and cat beds, they've been around forever, but they don't protect pets from bad weather. Sharon came up with the idea to create a new type of portable dog tent that pet owners can take with them on camping trips so their pets have a comfortable and safe place to sleep. Sharon's inspiration for this tent came to her when she was at the store and she saw the little dome tents on the store shelf that they used to represent the larger tents. She saw that and wondered why she couldn't have it for pets so she could take all of her pets camping with her. And that was my idea. I was listening to other people around me saying, oh, that would be so cool. Shortly after Sharon submitted her idea to us, the roof on her house started to leak. No wonder she liked to go camping so much. Her house was falling apart. The pressure was on to come up with a killer product so Sharon could repair her roof. So we decided to take a look at these small tents that Sharon suggested, but we noticed they're too small and don't keep pets dry. So we needed to come up with a solution to keep pets cool, comfortable, and dry. We came up with the modern day doghouse. The floor is a couple inches off the ground and made of a flexible and breathable fabric. So there's plenty of ventilation for our pet. The roof also has vents that open and close depending on the weather conditions. We ended up calling it the Cool Cot House. I love that it was portable and could be built in a matter of minutes and I wanted to get it in stores immediately. Whoa, not so fast, Dan. First we need to test it and make sure it's a winner. We're getting ready to test out the Cool Cot House. I thought what we'd do is have our stunt dummy clay Climb in there. I knew that this is where this was going. You gonna fit, Clay? I'm trying. You look pretty comfortable from yeah, out here. Yeah, you know, if I can stay in here for about another three and a half hours, I think I'd be good. That's when I'm done with work. We'll see how he feels about that in a few minutes. I'm gonna spray some water through there and see if we can get this thing soaking wet. And hopefully not Clay. So far, so good. Everything from here back is staying dry. All right, let's kick it up a notch. We're gonna try to get the effect of a hailstorm. You know, I don't remember Mother Nature being this much of a bitch. This, this storm is worse than I expected. Hell yeah, it is. How did it hold up to the hail? Very good, although this was the most aggressive, focused hail that I have ever experienced. <laughs> we open up these vent flaps right here, get a little air blowing through. I could stay here all day long. I'm. Uh... I'm pretty cozy. So is this one of the better tests and scene you've done so far, Clay? Yeah, I think I'm getting out of this one pretty much unscathed. Uh, I think we can take care of that. Why, what's that supposed to mean? Oh. 
Overall, the test was a great success. We presented Sharon's idea to Hugs Pet Products, and they wanted to get it on store shelves immediately. Seeing the finished product for the first time blew me away. Way better than my original concept, way. You never know when the next great idea is gonna come along. Sharon's Cool Cod House, it's gonna improve the lives of pets and pet owners across the world. We flew Sharon to Inventionland so we could all celebrate the success of her idea. We also wanted to present her with her first royalty check. That's your first royalty this check? This is the first royalty check on oh. the product. <laughs> <laughs> What does all this mean to you? I mean, you had this idea and now it's coming to life. You know, it means that I finally have a place that we can enjoy and the roof doesn't leak and the floors aren't caving in. It's some place where we can be safe. And that couldn't have happened without you guys. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, this has been such a great success for Sharon. Her product is sold in Sam's Club stores and other major retailers too. And has been on several television shows to share her idea with the world. It's not a matter simply of the money. I want to share my ideas with other people, whether it's a dog, whether it's a cat, whether it's a ferret, whether it's whatever. I want everyone to be able to enjoy having that pet pen. I love about this is it's not easy but it is possible yes and it does happen it does happen and Sharon's a she's blessed in so many different ways and uh, today uh, they've been selling for quite a while but the capturing the journey is never easy because mm -hmm. it takes months and months and months if not a year to pull off a lot of this magic along the way to get it from your head out to the store shelves is uh, it takes a little time thank you so much <laughs> we'll see you again me. with more cool products Yes. You have to dare to invent. That's what I always say. That's it. I gotta, I gotta do mine. I gotta do more. And to find out more about how to dare to invent and for tips on getting started, visit Davison.com. That's spelled D-A-V-I-S-O-N.com. He really does make it happen. Check it out.